just look at I have to record this video. It's five in the morning. Because I want to record it before I start watching TV or something myself against the the number extended fifty. Okay. So I went to sleep and I had this dream. In this dream. Like first um oh that's just so much. I don't even know where to begin. Okay. So I woke up like halfway period I was kind of breathing really hard. And I was starting to go to sleep, I fell asleep around me and prayed. And I think that's why I wasn't fully paralyzed. Like sleep like like demonic paralysis. People ask me, have you experienced it before? Oh, I experience it all the time, unfortunately. Okay, so I had to close my eyes because this, I have to put the flash on my camera so you guys can see me. And that flash is bright, honey. Um, so, I woke up out of paradise and this um, spirit, demon, whatever you want to call it, this spirit comes and, like, kind of, like, sits next to me, I don't know why they like to just sit right by my face, like, I don't know, but they sit, she sits right next to me, and the face is, like, a decayed face of this black woman, kind of bigger, but um, I can't tell it was a black woman at first. It's because I know by the rest of the dream that it was a black woman. Okay, my cat just jumped up. Hi, honey. Hi, honey. Say hi, you two. Okay, it's hot. I imagine it. this time it went in and out of my sleep. Okay, so... It was first, it was um, a decayed face. And I told her, I thought it was like a demon or whatever because of how ugly it looked. But I realized like shortly after that it's a decayed, engraved face. Like it was gray and it wasn't all the way dust yet. So it's like she's been dead for a while, but not all the way dead, right? But anyway. So I said, show me your real face or something. And that's the part I kind of don't remember what happened. Okay, let's start before that. Before that. No, it was. I think it was after that. Yeah, because I woke up and went back to sleep. And then I was kind of singing Janaeco or something in my head. And then I was asleep. I wasn't sleeping in my bed, though. Somehow I was sleeping the opposite way. I don't know where I was sleeping at, but when I went to sleep, I wasn't sleeping where I'm sleeping right now. I don't even know how this makes sense. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just telling y'all what I remember before I get up and forget. Okay. So after that, I woke up. I went back to sleep again, and then somehow I woke up. And I've seen Janae Aika, which of course I know now it's not Janae Aika. And I'm like, am I connected to her or something? And then I seen her a few times because I went back to sleep and I woke up again and I seen her again. And we were just kind of chilling and she left at first and she went to go talk to somebody. I thought she went to go talk to Big Sean. I don't know who she was gonna talk to, like, and actually, because it wasn't Janae Aiko, right? So, bear with me, y'all. Janae Aiko is not the biggest part of this dream. It's the it's the spirit where I had the decaying face. Okay. Um, is that Aiko or Aiko? I don't know. But when she came back, I remember she came back one time, and when she sat on in like on the end of my bed, like how Janaka would be, like she's not very like intrusive. She was really portraying and stuff like Janaka, and I was like, 
you're so beautiful. Because I think Bianca is so beautiful. I'm like a huge fan. So I got to figure out what that means in my dream. That they really got to me the Janae I go for it at first. Um, I was just like, you're so beautiful. And then in my head, I'm thinking like, and she was like, oh, thank you. She was like, oh, thank you. Blah, blah. Um, but she was sitting there and in my head, I was like, oh, I should have told her like, I'm not just talking about like her looks. I just think she's a beautiful spirit person as well. Like, I just think she's beautiful all around. But, um, I mean, she seemed like she hit all the time. <laughs> but yeah, I forgot what me and Jay and I could do. We had more than just that, but I forgot. That's as much as I remember with the Jenna I go for it. But somehow, my mind kind of snaps me out of that. Because I, I, I don't know, something in my mind kind of triggers. There's something that happens that triggers me to be like, it's not generic. And then when my mind thinks about, right when my mind thinks that, it's all end up back with the decaying face spirit. The, at first I thought it was like an evil spirit or like a demonic spirit, but then I was looking at it more and I was like, this looks like a, like a person that was been in the grave for a long time. And so then after that, I think I said to show me your face, like, you know, I couldn't even tell. It was so decayed, I couldn't even tell it was a boy or a girl. It looks like a statue, like the face was straight. But after she showed me her face, it looked like a whole different person. And it was like a, not like dark, dark skin, more kind of like brown skin, a uh, black girl, kind of big, not like super fat, but kind of big. Right? And then, um, I just thought about something that happened that I don't even make sense right now. Okay, I'm going to just tell y'all the rest of my dream. If it can make sense to y'all at some point. Because I'll be watching my YouTube videos. And um, like afterwards I watched them years later. Some of this stuff makes sense. So I'm going to just <laughs> keep talking. It's all over the place, honey. Alright, anyway. So I end up in a house. It kind of looks like the house I lived in in the project. Um, but she's, cause I first, cause I'm trying to get away from this girl. She won't leave me alone. She's like, um, damn, they're trying to make me forget. I can tell they're trying to make me forget. I can still feel the spirit. No, 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 no. They don't want me to share this video. Oh my gosh. Okay. Um. Okay, okay. Our beauty is very name Jesus. Let me share. I remember being in another dark room. It was like my room in that project room. But it wasn't the projects because the house was bigger somehow. I think I might have been in her house. I don't know. But my sister was there, my brother was there. And my brother's friends, like, they eventually came in later. But my sister and my brother were, like, downstairs. My brother was out and then came in. So my sister was the first one I seen. Um, thank God for my sister. Because then my sister comes in my dreams, is usually, she's usually giving me some good advice or something. And it's my sister Essence, my, who is my 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 sister that's right above me. I got five siblings. She's my sister that's like right above my age. Um, right bigger than me. But anyways, and then I have a bigger brother than her, and then an older sister that's older than my brother. But anyways, so um, I I had a whole thing with the girl. I forgot what the heck we was talking about. That's so annoying. Oh 
Hopefully this doesn't die. Why did it hit my screen just flash right now? It's like something just came across my screen. But anyways, um, I'm trying to think who he's talking about. That's what they're, they're making me forget. I don't know why. It's so annoying. That's part of the reason why I came on here. <sighs> but anyways, she's like bothering me because I want her to like leave me alone. And then she's like, keep bothering me. She's not like cussing me out, but she's saying like she's not going. But um, and, like somehow I keep getting like flashes of like her life, and I think she was she was loved. And she was struggling at the same time. And she had a son. A light-skinned son. With curly hair. And then they took a picture with her holding him. I think on the right side at the beach or at the ocean. There's like water behind him and they're standing in the sand. Um... But um like but um that was like way after we had a whole scene. Cause she was like fighting with me. And this whole time I can't like breathe. I'm I'm like talking, but I can't talk. Kinda like how I was talking in the beginning of this video. But I'm like <laughs> And some words are not just coming out. I'm like, it's good. Even when, like, for the whole dream, I'm like that, okay? So, mind you, I keep going in and out of dream. So, I forgot why she wouldn't leave me alone. So, I'm going to have to move on because, like, I'm not remembering that. That's, like, a big part. But, anyways. So, um, we go downstairs in the house. And then the way that's where my sister is, she's the one song downstairs. Okay, I'm going to Snapchat while my phone gets more space because I'm not going to stop and wait or I'm going to forget more. So, anyways, my brother comes in. My big brother is the one that's in the dream too. And my my brother comes in, and he used to use it right away, too. And he was like, I'm feeling like there's two spirits there. But my dream was mostly about one spirit. I'm wondering who's the other spirit. Now I'm thinking about it. But my dream revolved around the girl. But anyways, um... Like, she won't leave me alone. Da -da -da -da. Like, this whole time, my family is, like, trying to help me get rid of her. But I'm the one who has to do it. Like, I'm the one who has Because even when my, after my sister told me the quote, it helps. That was, like, at the, towards the end of me dealing with the girl. Like I said, I was dealing with her a while by myself. Like, she portrayed herself as genetic. So I'm pretty sure it was her. Um... Cause I kind of just went back to the, the the decaying phase as I realized it was a Janan Aiko. Like, I went back and I left that room that I was sleeping in. And then went back to where I'm at now. And then was back with that person. So, yeah, I'm pretty sure she was messing with my dreams or messing with my whatever. But anyways, so... We did that. And, um... <clears throat> and the Snapchat was going to end soon <laughs> but we did that and I mean so we're sitting there we're all like discussing her in front of her and she's talking to her and she's basically like laughing at us and every time we do certain things I can't forget what we was doing 
we were doing certain things and she would disappear and then she'll come back like psych i'm still here and then um like she was she was a black girl she had like that black girl little ghetto attitude um And then uh, she wanted something, and I don't even know what she wanted. Because I tried to, it's like she didn't want to tell me what she wanted. She kind of was like playing games, like going around and around, like what the hell. And then, um, and then, so mind you, she's sitting on the couch, so we have two couches. Okay, y'all, the spirit of must really would not want me to get this video out because, you know, Snapchat failing with my video. So this is my tablet, and then I got my phone doing the flash. Okay, it looks kind of creepy. <laughs> Ooh, look at you. So, um, so what I was saying is, I'm describing the setup so y'all can kind of understand. Like, she won't leave my side, but she's not, like, glued to me so there's a couch like you know how couches you just make like an l shape and there'd be one on the side and one on the other side so on this side is by the window which is by the door which is exactly like my project house all of this is like my project house um and then there's a two couch seat on this one and it's my sister and me right here and then the door and then on this other couch it's the ghost spirit, demon, whatever her was. Um, and then there's another spirit. And I, put, and I think that's it. And then there's the dining room table that's like in between. And then there's the TV on the side of my, where my sister is on the other side on that wall. And then we have kitchen chairs, which is not really normal. But that day we had kitchen chairs and that's with my brother. His friend sat, or is it my brother sat over there when his friend, my brother was the person that was sitting next to her, to the ghost. We ended up calling her a ghost. And for some, and I swear there was like two ghosts that day, but I can only remember the girl. But the girl was the main one who was like bothering me. But the ghost, though, the ghost was kind of just that. Or demon, devil, I don't know, I don't know. But anyways, so. We're sitting there, and like I said, she's kind of like mocking us because she don't really want to leave. And we're trying different things, different races, and I'm like trying to believe it because I'm like, I can't make her believe something if I don't believe it, right? Because anything else that somebody else is saying, it's not going to her. She, what comes through me is like the main thing she really like pays attention to, and that's the really the thing that like affects her and she keeps like the things that we keep trying something it's like that we're hitting her something to make it worse for her like she would disappear and then she would come back and she would disappear and she would come back that happened like four or five times and sometimes like like throughout the dream like when she would disappear it would be for a little longer like we would have a like, conversation about her and then she would come back and be sitting in the same place um, I, I really don't remember what she was saying. I just know she was just talking like, not like shit, like she was like her cousin me out. I really can't remember. Man, I really wanted to come and tell what the spirit was telling me, the demon of the spirit was telling me. But anyways, like I said, I keep having like flashes of like her life. Like some of them were good, some of it was bad. And I think she might have drowned at that ocean or she might have gotten into a car accident over the two things that I got when I was in the dream. I even said those two things like she, I think she might have drowned or she might have, um, cause when I think about it, the decaying face I see, it had like green coming out of it, like, like, like the bottom of the ocean, like algae or something. And then the face was gray. Um, 
But her little son was so cute. He was a little light skin kind of boy. Nice smile, sweet boy. I can't remember. If I remember any details, just look at the description and I'm gonna add them, okay? I'm about to finish because that's the, the last part of the stream. But I'm just trying to remember everything because that's so annoying. Like, that's really what I want to come on here and talk about. And now I can't remember. This is the second time I end up being like, paralyzed by a spirit or a demon and seeing like their past like and this girl's past this girl don't seem like she died a long time ago i was like do you want me to go talk to your family or something i don't know i don't know it seems like it's kind of like a fresh that the, the first time i dealt with like paralysis and i gotta go see the home i haven't made a video about that yet that was like my first sleep paralysis experience I, that was all the way in like 2014, 15, I don't know. So 14, I think. So exactly 10 years later, or around 10 years later, I don't know what month it was back then. I think it was probably around the sun. So 10 years later, I'm having the same thing, but a different spirit. That's crazy. That's a sign right there. From 2014 and then 2024. That's crazy. Okay, anyway, um, and I've been getting more into the Bible and stuff like that more. And time I get closer to God, that's when they start coming and attacking more. Either when I'm really low or when I'm starting to get really high, that's what, those are the times that they attack. But they come and they try to like grab me and throw me off or whatever. I'm still doing what I'm going to do so that I didn't throw me off that I was a fail. Because... I'm better than ever right now, honey. But anyways, uh, what I can remember, like I said, she was the main part of the dream, but that she, I don't know why I can't remember anything about her. I feel like that's my purpose, especially because I'm sharing it with you too. But again, if there's anything else I can remember that I need to share, I'll put it down below. Also stay tuned for another video update, because I know that's with these streams. Sometimes I'll remember something years later. <laughs> like, you know? So just stay tuned, subscribe, turn the notification bell on. But anyways, um, so somehow I see the boy, cause after I'm like fighting her, cause like what I said, we was doing different things to make her leave. And then um, my brother's friends came and he was like, is that a ghost? Like somehow they all knew she was a ghost. I don't think she like, like you know, like her like body was all the way here. Like it must've been like a little like see-through translucent. Translucent. Okay, that's a waste of fire. Translucent? Whatever. But, um, um, and like, she's kind of getting irritated at this point. And then I start, I walk up to her. Mind you, I talk, this whole time I can't talk, so I'm talking like, like I can't breathe. Everybody else is talking normal. But me, it's like someone's taking my breath. Like it's like, uh, and I'm like, I'm like, could you? That's how I'm talking. I got, I don't know why I can't breathe. It's taking every energy, every strength, and no matter how much I like take a breath before. It's still coming out that way. Look, look, that's the sign right there. I just don't know what it is yet. But, um, so, like I said, I, I remember her smiling at me. I remember her picking at me. Um, she was acting. It, like I said, she was in the middle. She wasn't all the way rude, and she was definitely wasn't nice, but she wasn't all the way rude either. But, um, okay, so, I don't know how I seen her son. But her son, like, runs out. That's, like, the last time I seen her was before I seen her son. Like, when her son came, she disappeared. I don't know. Maybe she didn't want him to see her like that. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Like, do you mean you're messy? 
But like her son, when her son came, it was a like, it was like a child spirit. Like a, her, I, I think it was like an actual boy, little boy, like little uh, four year old little boy, between three and five. So like, I would just say four. Um, he was so young, and then he ran. He came like in my projects, and he ran out of my house. And when he ran out of my house, I remember him like playing. And I went and I spoke to him. And it was a normal conversation. I don't remember him saying anything that was super significant to the dream. He was just like a little boy. Like talking like a little boy, like, hey, no, no, no. But he was more like quiet. So he wasn't saying that much. It was more me talking to him than him talking to me. And he went outside and he was playing with something. Um, and he was just sitting there. And somehow that dream, when I went outside, it transferred. And that little boy, I believe it was a little boy, I felt, like turned into like this little baby puppy. This dream all over the place, y'all. Moving from Janae Hyco to a black girl to a boy and a puppy. Hey, y'all, I'm not. Somehow that puppy. And then and there was like big dogs. And I don't know, at first the dogs looked like wolves or they like coyotes, they're the same coyote, they're like. So somehow those black and white dogs, they turned from like beasts to like dogs and whatever. And there was like three of them. And they were all, um, like picking at the boy like trying to like eat the dog or like they were like playing with him but like you know not in a good way for him but they were like pulling at him different ways okay i'm back recording on my phone it hasn't freed up all the space so yes we're gonna get this video we're gonna get this video we're gonna get this video okay so the dogs are picking up the little boy which is now a puppy and they're like grabbing at it. I'm like, get away from me. So I look for something and um, I look for like a pole and I'm trying to like hit the dog with the pole. I'm like, get away from him. And um, like, cause he's such a little puppy and they're just like pulling at him. Um, they're having a good time with him. But anyways, um, the dog's basically do nothing and they kind of start chasing me and then I'm like running away and then I'm trying to find something else that's like actually gonna hurt him hurt them so I can get them away from the dog so why when, when I'm looking for something else it's like two white people come and they have like something small they basically just like threaten the dogs like they like wave it at them threaten the dogs and the dogs back down I'm just like, wow, and I'm thinking, like, wow, thank you, like, wow, in my head, I'm like, I did not do some, they, they, they wasn't scared of that, but they scared of that, and the white, when the white girl was, like, she basically started, like, making fun of me, like, you couldn't do anything, and you was here, you just watched it happen, and, like, you know, she's, like, antagonizing me, um, and so they pick up the dog and the dog is hurt now you know because they were like grabbing at him pulling him different ways with their mouth know? and it's just sad to think about anybody any other dog gonna do that but now it's like this little boy is somehow turning into the puppy right and in my mind somehow that was right in the dream i didn't even try to think oh the boy's a puppy or something okay like the snapchat so um as she was attacking me, I was like, well, they tried to bring the dog inside their house, which somehow was next to the house that I was at. Um, and then the dog, like, you know, it's just crying because it's been hurt. It's like, Aah. and when it's crying and stuff, it's not like crying like a dog. Like, Aah. it's crying like a little boy. Like, like, it's the voice of the dog or the puppy. It's the little boy. And he's just like, Cause it's hurt, right? And um, like he basically tries to come to me. 
I'm like, let me see the puppy. Like, give me the puppy. Like, like you know, at this point, I feel like it's my puppy. But, um, so the little boy is like, he's just crying. And so somehow, so they see that he kind of wants to get to me, so they give him to me. He, he went inside the house for like a, one second and then he came back out and he get me out because I'm talking. And then he came to me. And he's still crying. He's crying in my arms. And when he's they're handing him to me, I see his leg. I think it was the left leg because of the way I held him. But I kind of feel like it's the right leg. And it was big, like all the way backwards like that. Like, it was bit wrong. And it was, it was real. And he's just like crying. And then I'm holding him. I'm trying to like cuddle him and console him and then my phone alarm goes off in real life and I woke up and that was my dream so if y'all know anybody or with a similar story not with the dog but with an actual boy like maybe he would hurt his leg in real life or you know girl was took a picture with her son at the beach a black girl a light skinned son and so I keep getting flashes, and now when I'm seeing the picture, it looks like the girl was light skinned too. But I don't even know. Or you seen anybody with seen this story of a real life? Please let me know, because I feel like there's somebody really out there who dealt with that issue. I'm seeing their story for a reason. And I really wish I could remember more about that girl. But anyways, my name is Maya, you guys. If you guys want to hear more. About stuff like this or just if you want to be with the family that grows and transforms lives then you need to subscribe after subscribe you're gonna to have to put turn the notification video so you're notified whenever i post a video that being said you guys i'm so glad you guys watched this video to the end um i know it's kind of all over the place again read the description if you don't remember anything else about the girl or anything else about the dream because i have a lot of missing parts right now Go ahead and read the description. Um, I love you guys. My name is Smiley, and I'm out.